Back in the 80s, you can turn on the radio and hear some music like Journey or Def Leppard. There was always rock on the radio. You could even put on MTV, and you can watch music videos of your favorite hard rock band. But these days, it seems like bands aren't playing this type of music anymore. So in this video, I'm going to prove that wrong because this band sounds like they're straight out of the 80s. The name of the band is Revolution Saints. They are a super group from Frontier Records. They started in 2014. They released their self-titled debut on February 24, 2015. Their second album was called Light in the Dark. It was released on October 13th, 2017. And their third album was called Rise, released on January 24, 2020. In the band were Dean Castronovo on lead and backing vocals, as well as drums. And he's been active since the early 80s, but probably most known for being in the supergroup Bad English. He was also drummer for Ozzy on Osmosis, but... Now he's most known for being the current drummer of Journey, a band that I will be referencing a lot in this video. Also in this band was Doug Aldrich. Uh, he was on guitar and vocals in the band, and he played with Dio in the later period, as well as White Snake and the Dead Daisies. Lastly, the other founding member of Revolution Saints is Jack Blades on bass and lead backing vocals. He is known for being in Night Ranger and also in Damn Yankees. But surprise, Doug Aldrich and Jack Blades are no longer in the band. So the album Eagle Flight has two new members joining Dean Castronovo. The first is Joel Hoekstra. He played with classic rock bands White Snake and Night Ranger. He also has a solo career and his own band called Joel Hoekstra's 13, which released an album back in 2021 called Runny Games. They also have a new one coming out soon. Uh, I think it's coming out on June 16th called Crash of Life. The other new member is Jeff Pilsen on bass and vocals. He was the bass player for Dokken for most of their career. He also played with uh, Dio in the 90s and the early 2000s. The album has 10 songs and it's 42 minutes long. Eagle of Flight is the first song. It starts with a piano intro. It almost makes you think it's going to be a ballad, but it's actually a hard rock song. It has some glam metal style guitar riffs. The vocals are very big. They have an arena rock sound. The band reminds me a lot of Journey from the 80s. Uh, the story guitars um, are there. They add some heaviness, but... The keyboards kind of make it uh, more melodic for the listener. Talking Like Strangers is not too bad for a second track. This has a lot of those Def Leppard style guitar riffs and vocals. Similar to Journey, the song is energetic. Also has an arena-like quality. I thought the guitar solo on this song was pretty good. Need Each Other is the first ballad on the album. It has a very big 80s sound. The song that would go over well in a live setting and could have been a radio hit in the 80s. Soft keyboard and melodic electric guitar solos bring it back to a time. Uh, kind of like driving down the road listening to tunes on your cassette deck. Kids Will Be Kids uh, was a pretty good track. I enjoyed the guitar riff in the intro. It was a type of song you can use as part of a rocky montage. Uh, that's the feeling I got from it. It was melodic, energetic. It was big and it had some flashy guitar solos. I'll Cry For You Tonight is the second ballad. A song that uh, sounds like a typical radio hit from the 80s or a song people would just like listen to live and put lighters in the air during a concert, even though I don't think people do that anymore. Crime of the Century is more of an upbeat rocker, has a harder rock sound and uh, guitar riffs. It's a feel-good type of song, maybe a good song to add to a gym playlist. It's very energetic with cool keyboard melodies and a cool guitar solo. Set Yourself Free is some cool shredding and guitar playing in the intro. This one reminded me a lot of Van Halen, but maybe from the later period. It also has a lot of uh, guitar shredding and it goes into a typical like melodic rock song. It has some cool rhythm guitar parts as well. Secret is a mid-paced rocker. It's a good song for driving. It has a feeling like you're going out looking for adventure. It has big vocals, a nice melody, and the guitar solo is very good. Once More is not too bad. It's another power ballad driven by piano melodies and some hard rock guitar riffs. The song is a big chorus, another one that would probably go over well in a live setting. Save It All is the final track, and this is just a, a rock song from the 80s. It's an upbeat song. Another one that would be good for like a workout playlist, or if you need something to pick you up, give you some energy, it's just that type of song. So it was a pretty good album. It brought back the sound that seems to be lacking in today's music scene. It's an 80s hard rock type of album. Songs we really don't hear much on the radio anymore. I don't think this type of music will ever be reaching any charts anytime soon but if you're somebody who likes that style i would say check it out 
I think the bands that they reminded me of most are the band like Journey. So if you like those albums from the 80s, I can definitely, uh, I would recommend this. And my score is a 7 out of 10. It's decent. Not anything groundbreaking, but it brings back a sound that a lot of you probably miss. So that is all. Please remember to like this video. It helps me with the algorithm and subscribe. You can stay up to date on all the new releases. Uh, check out this playlist of 2023 new album reviews, everything I have reviewed since January, and I will see you in the next one.